Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial, which I'm going to show you how to install and use the Jobs Reborn plugin. To install the plugin, head over to Plugins, go over to the Spigot section and type in Jobs Reborn. Hit install and install the latest version. Restart the server and it's about done. You will also need Vault for this plugin to work, so make sure to install that. What this plugin allows you to do is basically create jobs for players and have them earn experience, points and even in-game currency if you have the plugin for that. For example, you can get an economy plugin and have players earn in-game currency. So let's say you have the miner job in game, you will get all those rewards for mining things like stone, ore and basically any mineral. And of course you can create your own jobs too. There are a lot of features in this plugin and I'm not going to go over all of them, however uh, Things like daily quests, custom jobs, uh, sign leaderboards and job shops exist uh, in this plugin. If you want to take a look at the plugin page, you'll find all the features there and if you do need any help on how to do something, uh, make sure to check the Spigot page as well. The link will be in the description. But if you don't really want to configure anything, this plugin does work by default and the settings are pretty good. So you can basically install it and play with it pretty quickly. But let me quickly explain some of the stuff you can change in the config files. The two you want to put your main focus on is general config and job config, but we'll get those in a second. The restricted areas config is basically uh, areas in which you cannot perform the job. So it's like a bit of a safe zone for you. The restricted blocks are blocks that have timers you can set. So you can't place and break blocks instantly and get infinite rewards. In schedules you can set specific times to have like booster rewards, so for example if you want players to gain X double XP at night you can do that. Shop items lets you add items to the shop which players can buy with uh, the points they get. I'm going to change this config a little bit so I can set the elytra to cost just one and remove the permissions so I don't need any permissions to get this item. Of course, make sure to save the config and restart the server after you're done. In signs, there's nothing in there because, uh, of course, we haven't placed any signs in the world. And the title config is basically like job ranks. Of course, all of these configs are commented, so just make sure to read that if you don't understand something or just go to the Spigot page. In the jobs config, you can change or create new jobs for players. Uh, this config has a lot of comments, so everything is explained to you. It even provides you with a job template play which you can use and customize yourself. In the general config you can change a bunch of things like reward decimals so for example if you if you put one decimal point you'll only get 1.5 xp and not 1.55 xp but for example if you want whole numbers all you have to do is put the option to zero. You can make people join jobs when they join the server by enabling auto job join. You can change broadcast settings and daily quests reset time here. You can also change the max number of jobs for players to have at the same time. There are basically a lot of options, so just make sure to read the comments and if you don't understand anything, just contact our support team or visit the plugin page. Okay, let's get into game and I'll show you how the plugin works. There is a help menu if you type in slash jobs, help. Um, you can also put a, a number after the help to go to the next page. This will basically show you all the commands available for you. To browse the jobs, just type in slash jobs browse and here you have a menu of all the jobs available. You can left click for more info and right click to join the job. As you can see when I left click it will give me more info for the digger job. You can also type in slash jobs join and then the job name if you want to do that. To check your points just type in slash jobs points and it will show you the current amount of points you have. All right, let's break some dirt and see if we can get some points. And as you can see, I get points and XP as well for mining this dirt. To spend these points, you can type in slash jobs shop. And here you can basically buy anything you set in the config. As you can see, I bought an Elytra, which I set to be very, very cheap in the config. And some of them you can also have permissions. So for example, if you don't have a permission, you can't have the item. And that's all set in the shops config. You can also set up signs. Uh, for example, you can have, let's say, like an info sign. 
To do that, just place the sign down and type in jobs in square brackets on the first line, info on the second line, and the job name on the third line. And as you can see, it will tell me all the info here. You can also set up a ranking sign. To do that, just type in jobs on the top line, top list on the second line, and the name of the job on the third line, and type in one on the bottom line. This will give you players who are number one to number four on the leaderboards. If you type in, let's say, uh, four, it will show you players four to seven on the leaderboards. I can also make a similar sign, just like this, except on the last line, type in one S instead of one and it will give you the person who is first. If you type in 2s, it will give you the person who's second. And if I place a block above the sign, it will update and show you the player head of the player. Now let's uh, dig some more dirt and see if we can reach level two and it will hopefully update on the sign. So give me one second. Also, you can type in slash job stats to check out how much XP you have. Uh, and how much XP you need for the next level. Here we are, we got level 2 and as you can see the head updated and on that sign we are level 2. So yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and it helped. Once again, thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.